Check this out, it's a flying robot beetle. Scientists in Switzerland just built this thing to help them answer some questions. Not so much how do you beat Flappy Bird, but more so, how do beetles fly? So insects are believed to use thoracic muscle to deploy their wing for fly and to retract them back to rest after fly. In this study, we found that rhinoceros beetles can use a passive approach for their high winds by using the flapping force to deploy. And then they can use the elytra or the four winds to depress the high wind back without the need for uh, additional thoracic muscle. That's a postdoctoral scientist with the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology, Lucerne. One of the authors of this newly published paper in the science journal Nature. Passive wing deployment and retraction in beetles and flapping micro robots. Trying to figure out things like how beetles deploy and retract their wings, these scientists first spied on some real rhinoceros beetles in this slow motion footage that looks way more realistic than some other expensive footage involving blue beetles. So in this study, we used high speed camera to capture the three dimensional wind motion of the beetle during the wind deployment and the retractions. And we found that for the wind deployment, the beetles goes into the two phase process. In the first phase, they just the fully release of the elytra trigger the partial release of the, the high winds. And then the beetle enter to the second phase by just starting flapping. And during this procedure is continue to elevate the wind base and then unfolding the wind tip to the fly position. After observing this two-step process, figuring out the hind wings of the rhinoceros beetle deploys passively as the bug begins to flap, and that the hind legs retract automatically after they're done flying, well, they built these small flapping robot beetles to validate what they saw. So then we translate the mechanism into a flapping robots, and we that enable the robots to passively deploy and maintain the stable hovering flies, and then they can retract the wind back upon landing. Indeed, like the bugs, these robots were able to deploy their wings for takeoff, perform stable hovering, and retract their wings when landing, just as the scientists observed in real beetles. These science types say their findings will help us better understand the locomotive strategies of insects, of course. And there are also implications for the development of small flapping wing robots. So who knows, maybe one day soon you'll be hiring Blade to take you in a dune ornithopter to LaGuardia. I'm Greg Ott, and this is your Daily News Refresh. We put out new, weird, and interesting news stories like these each and every day. Subscribe to tell the algorithm you want more stuff like this in your feed, and leave us a comment to tell us what you think. In this recent fun video about a woman who spent 10 grand in savings to attend her 7th Olympic Games, One Punch Man 4481 just wrote, Boycott Paris Olympics. Okay.